Hope y'all are having a good one. So today I'm out here with the General Ecto and the TRX4, uh, currently nameless, that I just picked up here not too long ago. Uh, I've got a couple new bits and pieces here. Um, figured come up here give them a run around and uh, make a quick little video maybe quick for me anyways it's about a hundred degrees and about a thousand percent humidity so it's pretty miserable out here today so probably gonna stick to the shade and uh, yeah probably won't be out here for very long nevertheless the TRX4 I believe the last video was the first video I did with this one and uh, I've got some new tires the wheels should be here hopefully tomorrow uh, so these wheels are temporary but I've got the 2-2 wide boy fling kings uh, currently they're just on stock bomber plastic bead locks um, yeah and since that last video I put a Mamba X ESC and a 2280 KV censored motor in it so that thing rips now um, as far as the Ecto I uh, put the general body back on it. Um, I put its wheels and tires back on it. But I. That was unintentional. But that's something else I did. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that'll shut off here pretty soon. I put a set of uh, inserts in these tires. Uh, previously, I was running. Uh, the Enjora blue silicones and they were maybe a little bit too soft but the biggest problem was uh, they were kind of slipping side to side on hard turns when they got bound up uh, so I didn't really like that too much uh, here last weekend I ended up getting a set of the guess they're super soft or soft I'm not sure what they classify them as but they're the orange 3d printed inserts from hello rc and these things feel great in here so far so we're gonna see how they do and then something that both of these vehicles got you just heard uh finally picked up the ess dual plus uh, sound module uh, one for each of them so I definitely wanted one for the TRX4 because uh, that thing's gonna be slinging some mud and it's always good to have some noise to go along with that and once I got to digging into everything that you can do with those ESS duels I picked one up for the general because the one missing piece that that car truck situation there was missing was the Dixie horn that I could uh, operate with the remote before I just had a Bluetooth speaker and I would have to play a Dixie horn through that Bluetooth speaker off of my phone so it was a huge hassle to play it while we was out at events and stuff like that on the trail, I'd have to stop, pull my phone out, find the file, and then play it. Now, that is set up as the horn on the sound module. So I can just click the channel 3 button and bam, Dixie horn. Huge win for the General Ecto because that was the one thing that it was really missing, in my opinion anyways. So, yeah, enough rambling. Uh, probably not going to do much talking while we're running. 
because uh, I got these things cranked up and let's listen to them sing. <laughs> about this sound module that's different from the last one that I had. The last one, uh, it only, like it would rev out and then it would just kind of drone on no matter how fast you went. This one, you can set it up in the programming to where it does shifting. So it'll go through the RPM range and then quote unquote shift and go through another gear and another gear and uh, different engine sounds have uh, different shift patterns RPM patterns the whole nine but one thing that I was not expecting if you just hammer down full throttle when the sound module shifts it actually just ever so slightly cuts the throttle for you and like hesitates like you're actually like the truck itself is actually shifting but I can see where some situations that's not going to be good and I'll probably end up turning that back off for some situations but in other situations it's actually pretty sweet um, I feel like it we ever get to that point and I'm at the right spot while it's going past the camera while it's shifting that should make it look a little bit more realistic uh, with the audio and everything but just wanted to throw that in there while it was quiet for a second thought that that was pretty cool I was not expecting that at all I haven't heard anybody else talk about that um, I've watched several videos um, having to do with this particular sound module and I have not heard anybody talk about that aspect of it yet so I just wanted to throw that in here <laughs> I think one of my plug wires got a little close to my new headers uh, seems like it melted a little bit cut the ignition so threw some tape on it rerouted some wires hopefully they don't bounce back over and uh, sit back on those headers again but we should be good to go now yeah
I've definitely got some uh, work to do on this one. Uh, I just threw this in there real quick and my wire management was uh, temporarily thrown together, we'll say, at best. So whenever this thing gets a good jolt, it uh, seems like the zip ties that I got on there is kind of pulling the plugs apart a little bit. So I need to do some uh, rerouting of some wiring and this thing will be good to go. Still pretty dang cool. been having this thought all afternoon looking at this thing after putting it back together is the general lee again what do y'all think about doing a pre-runner build with this get rid of that straight axle in the front keep the trailing arm straight axle sway bar the whole nine in the rear maybe get the uh twin i-beam or just the IFS, I, maybe, I don't know. But make this thing two-wheel drive, pre-runner style. The body's already cut out and chopped up. I don't know, just with the sound kit in here, it's really got me thinking. This thing, I'd like to be able to jump it a little bit more and really hammer down a lot more and spin tires. And with locked diffs front and rear full-time four-wheel drive uh, it's kind of hard to do the things that this thing should be doing looking and sounding like this so i don't know just something i've been pondering about all afternoon figured uh i'd see what y'all thought about it let me know down in the comments pre-runner or trail basher well now it's time for the big boys turn. Not sure what all I'm going to be able to get into up here. Uh, that's going to be much fun with this thing. You know, Fling Kings. They're pretty hard compound. And in the soft or loose stuff, it's uh, very high traction. So really at this point... Uh, I'm just driving it around, maybe throw some dusty rooster tails and listen to the sound kit. I am really just chomping at the bit for some serious rain and some mud. And then we're really going to have some fun with this thing. But we'll see what I can get into here with this one. <laughs> big old girl and she is top heavy <laughs> i do have the delay set to be a lot uh, a lot shorter on this one i need to go back in and turn that delay up for the idle because this thing shuts off quick <laughs> So 
I should be able to get this one in uh, low gear to spin long enough, especially with open diffs on this log and on this incline. Uh, you should be able to hear and possibly even see the shifting situation and uh, might even get some turbo sounds as well, some blow off valve action. <laughs> myself in the face with rocks.
overall not too bad for uh first run with new bits and bobs i've uh definitely got some work to do on the general ecto uh definitely got to get the wire management situation sorted out because uh, i can't be having that thing cut out on me whenever it takes a good jolt but that should be a very easy fix uh, as far as this thing here goes um there's not much i can really do with it in these conditions on these tires um, the new wheels that i have coming are a little bit wider offset they're actually a monster truck wheel right now if i try to go full lock on the steering these lugs actually grab onto the link the uh front lower links and it's pretty violent uh, there's a few times up there on the hill where it grabbed and then it'll either completely stop it or it'll deflect and shoot off in the opposite direction it's just no good but We'll uh, definitely be getting these tires back out once fall starts rolling around and we start getting a lot more rain. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun in the mud and the snow before too long. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll throw in some clips of this thing running the other day. Um, I had my boggers on it and still had this uh, castle system in here and we was uh we was putting down some power that day it was ripping some good wheelies so i'll uh, throw a few of them in here since i didn't end up making a video out of that but yeah i think we'll uh we'll call it there for today it's hot as hell out here and i'm tired of wiping sweat so hope y'all enjoyed um yeah let me know what you think about that pre-runner idea for the general i'm uh i'm really thinking about it may end up just getting a whole other chassis to do that on because i don't know that i want to take the ecto out of commission i really like that whole setup uh, so i may just take uh that body and those wheels and throw it at something else but I'd like to hear what y'all had to say about that as well other than that uh, I want to thank y'all for watching and uh, I'll let you know more long term what this ESS duel how that goes uh, definitely going to put it to some abuse some wet conditions a lot of jumping a lot of bashing around so i don't know that i've seen too many long term not necessarily reviews but hear about them when somebody first puts them in something but then later on down the road you don't really hear nothing about it no more so i'll be sure to uh, check in on that after they get some use on them but yeah thanks for watching i hope y'all have a good one and we'll catch you in the next one later